Welcome to another episode of The Infected. This is Season 2, Episode 46. Last episode, we went to the caves and we gather up as much material as we can. And that's pretty much all we did last episode. It was not an exciting episode, I understand that, but sometimes you need to get through those to get to the next area. This episode, we're going to start focusing on my lighting and electricity. Um, teleport truck. Okay. First thing we need to get up and running is this oil extractor right here. So, to do that, we are going to need to put relays, because I'm thinking about pulling it from there. bringing it into this area and this also needs to have lights too. So let's go ahead and put the blueprints for that furniture. I want one here. Let's put like right in the middle. And then one here. This is gonna require so many so many turbines. It'd be crazy. So I need to have relays I'm doing the I'm going the route of relays so that I can avoid having to make a bunch of boxes. I might move the extractor altogether to make this work better. Let's see. Instead of being back here, maybe I can have it over here. Uh, I guess that's good. So it's going to come in there and it's going to go straight down and I should have enough. It's in here. Okay, so I have one cord, so I need another one there. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to work. These all cost electrical parts too, so let's go ahead and grab the resources. I did make five wires, or, or yeah, five wires off camera, I think before the last episode, so I have five of them. I also have enough oil to make five more plastic pieces in case I need to make more. So I'll grab that, pull all of these. Do they require mechanical parts? I don't think they do. Um, nope, just copper, iron, screws. I have screws, I'll take those. Leave that. Drop off my pickaxe and pick up the upgrading tool. Okay. And we have copper and iron over here already. Although not a whole lot of iron. I probably should have grabbed a little bit, but that's alright. Uh, that'll do. Okay, so, let's build this one here, and go ahead and, that makes sense, come Maybe I'll do two. Got to figure out a way to make all of this make sense. put another one over here. This is all stuff that I don't really have to do. Well, I, mean, I guess technically everything I'm doing I don't have to do, but trying to can I get that'll work. Okay. So let's make this more organized. First thing I need to delete that. Can I yes delete that? Oh shit, it's not what I wanted to happen. How much? Uh, maybe I should make some more. Yep. Split in half, split in half, grab that, make some more. Grab a few more of this. Do 
two. Uh, why don't I make four more? Got so much of it. I had, I actually have more than I can deal with. I had to put just regular ore in a box somewhere. This. Because I didn't, oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that the uh, off camera I got attacked again. These guys are getting crazy. I thought I hit hit record, but I didn't. But you're not missing anything. They're not any different than any of the other ones. They're still sporadic. They still only really come from this side and from over there. But I have noticed that they're starting to branch away from the spikes and they're running all over the place. I have my door open. They'll run inside. They'll come out here. And they'll attack this side of the, uh, the wall, or the building. So I'm thinking about doing a upgrade defense episode here soon. Might be after the next horde. I think that's all of them. But it's becoming problematic. And they'll come all the way in here, and they just love this section right here. I don't know why. I need to have, like, spikes inside. I had to shut my door just to keep them out while I was outside. What the hell? Uh, let's put that away. And that away. Okay, so I've got six. That's at least three more relays that I can do. Let's turn this into something. And make some more iron. Seems like a good idea. Guess I'll just take it off. Oh. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Trying to figure out how to make this make sense. So, which one's this going anywhere? What is this? Stone grinder. Oil pump. Okay, so this is going up, and then from there, it shoots straight across. And this is the hard part. I wish you can just select one in it and follow the line. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So that means I need to come over here and grab this. I really would like to have it go straight up to, well there, actually. Yep, that'll work. And then I grab that. This will come here, and then that will go here, and then this. Here, and that. Hmm. I may have to just accept that. So I put this away, not really noticeable, but this looks a little bit more appropriate than just shoot from here straight there, or at least it's more organized. So that means I need to make a couple more relays to get this hooked up. So, I guess I'll... I need three. I also realized last episode that I need to have a bunch more trash cans just around because I seem to always be out about needing it. Specific locations like the caves now with the rocks or stones, whatever. It seems that I'm 
starting to need to have a trash can next to it. I wanted to do the rock crates, but the rock crates are not as effective anymore, seeing as I don't need the rocks. That'll work. Grab you, put you over here. So I'm gonna put a trash can there instead. And I'm gonna need more, more wire too. I guess this one can come straight down. It, no, I need it to go above my head. But fortunately, it needs to come out here. What all do I need? Not electrical parts. It's copper. I don't have any more plastic, do I? So I might have to do something else for now. Hmm. I think I made too many electrical relays for this, but I'm not going to change it. I'll let it build up again. But it looks a lot better coming from up there versus in the middle. Like this right here, I wish I could just put it on the outside and have it run straight down. Uh, there will be points in time where I'll just start knocking out walls and building scaffolding and everything around it. Just to do exactly what I said. I mean, it only takes 10 to break, I think. I think it's 10. To upgrade. Speaking of upgrade, let's do this really quick before I forget. And then we'll go back to other stuff. Alright. Alright. Looking good. Come in here. It's how much this 12 cement? Remember what I said before, you don't want to have anything underneath. I could always wait 15 more minutes. A long time though. 10 more minutes. I only have 16 on the clock. So let's see what I can do about making another junction box. How much you want to bet? I forgot to close the door. Ah, uh, of course. Well, I don't hear anything else. It's probably on the spikes. Yeah, I guess I'll just go and go inside. So, that's a drop that causes me to break my leg. It, oh, shit. I didn't think it would. I don't think I have a first aid inside either. One, two. I think I need two of those. And some plant fiber. Let's 
symbols, others. Um, but, uh, Workbench. Work my way back to the damn workbench. And I'm magically healed. So I've got one wire left. And 13 oil. I don't have oil anywhere else. This is why I need the other oil extractor. I'll grab the 25 from that. Let's go back upstairs to the junction box and see what all I need here. So I need two copper, two cobalt. Not a problem. This will be oil. Back to two. Isn't that make you guy annoy me? So with everything running, everything's not. Really quick, let's take this downstairs. Move this out of the way. This out of the way. Hmm. That does not work there anymore. Kind of a disappointment. Oh my god. I did mention that I was thinking about removing this stuff. And putting it into the storage area. So maybe I'll start working that direction now. Things that are just random, don't need them. Animal parts. Another random where I just keep my bows. I think I put the uh, other arrows, not bows, arrows, in the truck. Not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. I could always just put it like this, too. So I don't know. That's just too... I mean, it could work. It's not horrible. And this area can be... something. Guest bedroom. Can this go on top? Nope. Okay, whatever. I'll leave that there for now. Put this away. Oh, wait. No, let's bring it back out. Grab this. We're going to put that with that. So now, I need to make a bunch more of these relays. We'll put one here. I would go straight up, but it wouldn't work that way. Or would it? It would work. Get rid of that. So this would be straight up from, like, right in the middle. So let's go up here to this floor. No, it wouldn't work. I can go at an angle, though. I 
and then that would shoot across. Yeah, straight across. And then that, put the way. And that in turn would shoot over here to the relay tower. store all my relays and it goes here so I have I need four more electrical parts and I think four more wire and I don't have any electrical parts anywhere so fun what do I have in here one more. How much time do I have though? Two minutes. Okay, it's not too bad. I go upstairs and get some more water. Oh, screw it. I'll just drink like this. While I'm waiting for that water, or that oil, I'm gonna go to my animal parts. That's way off, that's gonna bug me. Go over here. And let's go to this house over here and let's finish the furniture. I think there's a couch that requires six more. Did I not drink? Oh, perfect. Okay. Yay. Oh, I need four more. So I don't, I don't understand how people don't like the electrical system. I personally love it. It's a little confusing at times. I wish you can mark a box and it highlights that particular, like it, it makes it blue or something, something so you can see which line you're specifically looking at. Oh, okay. When you start getting a complex amount of wiring going, but it makes it interesting. It makes it where you have to put some thought into where you put things and how you organize your power. Well, and I'm fairly certain that I'm going to need to get more turbines running. Oh, I could have just put those in. Oh well, I'm sure by now I have the oil. So let's just go and grab the black one. But you can't open that with the hammer. I still don't think I'll have enough. But I'll have... I'll be closer to what I need. I know I'm going to need at least two of them. So we'll start from there. Make sure that this is something I need. I might just need to go ugly. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to have to do for now anyway. Oh, I can't. I need, I need another oil. So I'll go up for this one. Put one iron. have the wire come up here to there to the relay so I just need two more electrical but I need one two three four five I need five wires so that's 15 oil so unfortunately the first thing I'm gonna do since I've already got it connected to the box 
the extractor valve. Control. Junction box. I'm just gonna have it go straight from here all the way to all the way to the extractor. And I will be able to get um, three times as much or twice as much. In which case then I can quickly reorganize all of this. While I'm waiting on that. And more. And I've got lots more one of these. Oh no, that's in the other other spot. Grab this one. Bunch of aluminum, bunch of cobalt. And I'm starting to put the extra. Just because I've got no room anywhere. I have no room. Seconds, grab some of each chest. I guess I'll go and eat some pie. It's getting to that point where I'm gonna have to go hunting now, like I said before. Make those pies. I'm running out of food. I do have these in reserve. These do not expire. If you leave them on here, they, they stop at 25 seconds. So it's a good emergency. Need more. I didn't even start it. I need to make 11, no, six more turbines. I don't even think I have the resources for that right now. I have enough for three. I need five lead each. So I'm going to have to go and harvest some lead. I'll probably do that off camera. Um, speaking of camera, I'm running out of time here. Got a, about a minute. Let's just finish this. Two, three. Oh yeah, I don't want that going all the way across, that just looks horrible. So for now, I'll leave them both here, but I don't want them here. In fact, all of these I want to move over there around the appropriate spot for storage. Now, I do want to turn the power on though. By the way. So now it's at negative five again. That's probably because this isn't running. Well that is running. So it's just because this, this isn't running. But I don't need it to run right now, so I'm fine. But we have Two oil extractors going, so we're gonna get lots more oil. Let's keep the process to where we can get wiring going around the house, the whole village really, at a faster rate. So this is where we'll end up concluding this episode. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a message letting me know what you think. Any tips, tricks, or hints would be greatly appreciated. I'm the Ambient King, and I'll see you in the next one.